Around a third of our global crops depend on animal pollination for their production. Almost all of these crops rely on flowers to attract animals to themselves, and so, if flowers vanished, we could lose 35% of all our crops. That's roughly equivalent to having one less meal per day for every person on Earth. So you can see just how vital flowers are to our food supply. This video will look at the role of the flower and why they are so important to us. You probably already know that flowers attract the pollinators that they need by being bright and colorful. They are therefore contrasting to the leaves and stems that support them and stand out in a field of green. They frequently also produce sweet nectar which many animals feed upon. The animals visit to collect this nectar, in doing so, get covered in pollen and carry this to other plants. There is a downside however, often the nectar and these big bright flowers cost an awful lot of energy to produce. Plants have evolved other ways to attract their pollinators. This is why some flowers also have other clever ways of attracting animals. For example, some plants have colored veins or spots on their petals to guide visitors to the nectar just like those people on a runway with ping pong bats. Others have regions which soak up heat from the sun and slowly radiate this back out again, just like a radiator for pollinators. There are even some flowers which are so specifically evolved that only one insect can visit them. Sorry, no nectar for you unless you have a 30 cm long tongue. All these pollinator attraction tactics help move the male pollen from one plant to another. But why do plants bother? When plants produce pollen, they allow it to dry out, which helps with its detachment and dispersion to other plants, with the help of the wind or animals such as insects or bats. As you can see here, once the pollen attaches to the stigma, it soaks up water from the environment. This causes the pollen to germinate, just like this. Eventually, it reaches the ovaries of the plant, where the pollen tube fuses with an ovule, which is basically just the plant's egg cell. The two nuclei of the pollen and the egg fuse together, and form a plant embryo. This is encapsulated inside a seed and then remains dormant until it receives the correct environmental signals. This is soaking up water. However, plants are really cool because once the embryo is formed, it can stay dormant for as long as 30,000 years. But remember, some plants don't even need flowers and a seed to produce. There are some which can produce many clothes of themselves, which drop off and form new plants, like this. Hopefully, you can see that flowers are vital to maintaining our food supply, but they aren't just bright and pretty. They can be a lot more complicated too. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.